Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Morgan, thank you very much. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show from the Napa Auto Parts Studios. Aren't you pretty good on piano, but you? Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Don't play the organ. Oh, uh, we have, uh, uh, let's see, there's Josh, there's Chick. <coughs> Just clearing the dust from that joke. <laughs> uh, Ace Cosby wrote over there, the maestro of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. We could do a two on a Tuesday if you want, Ace. If you're I got an hour. You got an hour? Okay, good. good. <laughs> Here's an hour of material. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's Christy Lee. Let's That's start the clock. Jessica Alsman. And um, now, before we get back to the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk, I want to remind you, is, is tomorrow our, our uh, Omaha Steak and Eggs breakfast? Is. Oh, I'm so excited. The f- refrigerator's stocked. Oh, that is great news. All right. Okay, well, I I think uh, since it is a Tuesday and everyone thinks it's a Monday, this will remind you that it's a Tuesday if we do something twice. He's caused me. What is this, a joke? Are you joking? This is a joke, right? What are you, from a radio station? I'm thinking of uh, removing my spine. Wow, that's (laughs) a bold uh, move. Well, it's holding me back. Holding me back. (laughs) (laughs) My favorite part is he's holding me back. He laughs like crazy. I don't think that should be a first person joke. I think it should be, it should be a, like an a, accent. Right. Yeah, there's a, I'm thinking of Well, no. I'm thinking yeah. of I'm thinking of removing well, holding, the spine. Holding, holding him, him back. back. No, I, I, to me, it's like, oh, they're an Irishman or a oh, Scottishman me or back. a pirate. Hold me back. I don't know, I talk to a pirate. He's thinking about getting a spine. Aye, yeah. Yeah, he says it's holding me back. <laughs> that kind of thing. That's kind of you, would, you wouldn't open ah. it with the accent? Yes, I would. Ah. You, you have to. I'm thinking of removing my spine. Right, right. Joke 101. It's holding me back. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking of having my spine removed. <laughs> okay, it's all oh, I see. There you or would you yeah. still have to say me spine removed? No, I think it, I'm thinking of becoming a pirate. Really? Then, Is that yeah, right? Maybe, yeah. I'm, well, and now I'm going to have my spine. <laughs> no, 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 wrong. <laughs> if you're going to keep it first person, yeah, you, you don't, have to you do don't, that. you don't introduce a whole new element. My eyebrow to it. If they can't me. figure out that you're being a pirate by the way you talk, hi. Ace, do not consult chicken on any of your no, jokes I think, anymore. I, I think you have to set up the pirate before you can no. go uh, <laughs> holding me back. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, Christy <laughs> Lee is at the uh, news desk. Well, and it's holding me. It's holding me. Okay, holding me. Uh, never mind. History on this date, September 3rd, 1777. Uh, ben Franklin caught uh, in a French whorehouse. The Maybe, but that's not what's on my uh, list. The first anniversary of America? The Stars and Stripes <laughs> flies for the first time in battle. Oh, okay. good. Starting our tradition of war. <laughs> we have to have our new we have our new new theme music for today in history, by the way. We do? Uh-huh. <laughs> Love it! <laughs> today! We had to... We had to get it from a rather old In piece history. of vinyl. I'll say, yeah. I, uh, uh, I like it. On this date, uh, 1971, John <laughs> Lennon oh. leaves the UK for New York City to never return. Why, why didn't he go back? <laughs> well, there's a... I'm, not kind. I bet he did. Re- I mean, he returned. He just wasn't setting up right. Yeah. No. yeah. They shipped yeah. him back. No, they didn't. didn't they? Oh, they didn't. No. Did. Is he buried in Charles Strawberry Field? No. No, it's a secret. Yoko has him stuffed in a closet somewhere? No. It's a secret to where he's buried? He's not buried. Never I mind. bet Just you Yoko's on. selling off. On this day in 1977, the last broadcast of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Aww. And rest in peace, Valerie Harper. No kidding. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's sad. Man. Yeah. On this date in 1995, <laughs> eBay founded by Pierre Odemeyer. Yeah. Pierre Odermeyer. Odermeyer. <laughs> First thing sold deodorant sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old B O Pierre. Omedyar. Pierre Omedyar. You big eBay, you big eBay guy? You ever go in there? And- Who? eBay. Yeah. What are you saying? Well, he's asked if you were an eBay guy. I'm. No, I'm not an eBay guy. No. Okay. Yeah. You know why I'm not an eBay guy? Why? Because I would be on there all the time. <laughs> it's pretty fun when you're part of an auction and you're looking to see if you're going to get it. Yeah. I think I, I haven't tried, done it in years. I think I tried early on, and I got like at the last minute somebody who knew what they were doing. Yeah, yanked yeah. it out from the under. snipers. Yeah, celebrating a birthday today, and born on this date in 1965, Charlie Sheen. Oh, I bet Old he is Charlie. celebrating. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, somewhere. I was worried about him. I know he was pretty much first on everybody's Deadpool. Hey, he sure was. That was a weird year, man, for yeah. him. Yeah, he sobered all up. Now he's good. Good. I hope so. Uh, uh, born on this date in 1986, Sean White. The flying tomato. tomato right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Is he coming back? I don't know. Has he said? I don't think he ever left, really, did he? Does that mean to the, when does the next game? It's a couple years away, right? Yeah. Winter games, okay. Um, is it what? Uh, is he the? Is he like a Mountain Dew guy or something? Isn't it? What Probably. Is he spokesperson. He smokes okay. a lot of pot. I would, think, I would think so, yeah. Really? Yeah, doesn't Sean White smoke a lot of pot? I would, wasn't that his thing? I would, I would imagine. Yeah. God, hmm. Didn't he's amazingly that the guy? Didn't we have a bit talented. about that? Oh no, you're thinking of uh, the other guy, you're Ross thinking of the Canadian Ridley guy. Oh, uh, I apologize, Sean. I'm sorry. Uh, I would guess Sean's. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Toke or two, maybe not now, but yeah. Did you see this, Christy? The, um, have you heard about this? Uh, we had the story last week or the week before about the uh, scientist or whatever it was that had um, was putting her own. Um, uh, scent, if you will, from her uh, mommy most, parts, most private area. Yeah. She was putting it on her. What do you What do you call these? Her your, pulse points. Her pulse points. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sick. And presumably, this was some sort of a dipstick. I can't imagine she was. <laughs> oh Lord! It was a pheromone getting, experiment. <laughs> Tom. Getting, yeah. getting it on her wrist. Right. You know, right. Be, she wasn't. Uh, that, uh, that'd be, that might have been. Don't a little, say the word. A little tricky. Um, anyway, this is this is a what different one. Uh, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> this is a pharmaceutical company called Roto R O H T O in Japan. They have isolated two chemical compounds, which are called lactone C10 and lactone C11, uh, which apparently, according to their research, the bodies of younger women produce in greater quantities than those of older women. All right. You following Mm -hmm. me here? Um, And uh, they are apparently isolating these compounds and working on what's called dioko, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, which is a line of uh, deodorants and uh, soaps for ladies. So so if you're an older woman, you can regain the scent of a younger woman. Look, don't blame me. I didn't know. know. Hmm. And bathe in their blood. Yeah. There's no blood involved. It's just they're isolating these compounds. Uh, it's kind of interesting. You can uh, remember the story. What does it do? Yeah, for it sounds me. like quackery well, you, to me. You, you could you could smell like grape lipstick and high drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I hate that. That's gonna turn you the know, men so. on. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the story? The famous story about the the legend: uh, if you want a man to fall in love with you, you put uh, prepare a steak. Blood steak. Oh, place. that's no, that's actually true in yeah. uh, in some uh, in uh, mm-hmm. some indigenous uh. tribes. That's true. In certain continents, I won't. Well, if we're going to talk about wacky things like that, have you heard about gong baths? Gong baths. Yes. Spell it. G O N G, like a gong, like. And then the second word is what? Bath. B A T H S. Oh, oh, baths. Oh, wow. Okay. No. Yes. How does this work? The sessions are apparently quite popular in Britain. You uh, apparently lie down and relax while a practitioner begins to play a large gong above your head. Oh, relaxing. Starting gently and quietly, <laughs> then building the sound into a droning meditative chime for up to an hour. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. You asked, didn't you ask us last week what, if you had unlimited cash, what you'd... I, I said I wanted a personal driver. I'd like to change that. I want a gong guy. You want a gong guy? That announces me when I get into the shower. This will make no one in the <laughs> <laughs> Gong! Thank this you! Su- probably surprise no one in the room. Meghan Markle's reportedly taken Prince Harry to sessions. Oh, <laughs> well, they, they were, I bet they he'd were, rather listen to the gong. Oh. <laughs> they were bored of just shredding money. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> gong! The chimes apparently deliver a healing meditative experience without the physical exertion of yoga or the mental discipline of meditation hmm. i'm just reporting you know something people that have too much money some of the things they'll do <laughs> chick what would you pay for a professional gong <laughs> i would give that gentleman 25 bucks every time the gong sounded <laughs> no i'm saying if you want to buy a gong a day. yeah get no. it on buy a gong <laughs> buy a gong <laughs> get yeah, it yeah. on <laughs> You oh, this, wanna, one has a, this one has a gong stand and everything. Oh, yeah? You got to have the stand. Otherwise, yeah. you can't hold otherwise, it, otherwise <laughs> it just goes dink, <laughs> clunk. You can hang it yourself. <laughs> Don't they have little desk gongs for sure. the, uh, yeah, the guy who has everything? Like yep. the, those beads. The, the yeah, there's a 19-inch table gong. There yeah. you go. Don't you love it when you go to a concert and you look up and 
you see the drum kit, and the guy's got 800 drums, and all this, and the giant gong in the back. You go, okay, well. Well, this is going to come yeah. into play yeah. later. At some yeah. point, this will. You're going to have to hit it hit once. This thing. Some poor guy had to schlep yeah. that all over the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the roadies. <laughs> then you go to a show. Schlep. Oh, schlep. Then you go to a show where there's a drummer that's got a kit with like four drums, and he's the better than any of the guys. <laughs> yeah. Usually there's an inverse proportion thing going on. Yes. Yeah. If you've got the big gong, oh, God. <laughs> so I take it you're not going to sign up for the gong bath. Uh, no. Yeah. I read a great review over the weekend, and the guy uh, was uh, talking about um, the uh, Kiss the Kiss concert that you went to, Ace. It was a great review, and, and he, real positive and very well written. And he goes, uh, ah, well, there was a drum solo, and I wish that would sort of just go away. <laughs> Make this the last drum solo tour of any band. Oh, really? I still I enjoy those them. Drums. I like a drum solo. Oh, God. Do, uh, I, like, I like a drum solo, too. There's only one on earth that I've ever liked. Huh? Don't say R Ringo Sant Star. No, Santana. Because okay. his at Ringo Stars is way too short. So that's the great one yeah. and on Abbey Road. Boom, that's boom, the boom, perfect boom, length. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Yeah, that's it. You're you know, done. Anything over a minute, I'm out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Let's see. There's Ace. There's a Chick McGee. That's uh, that's Josh. I'm Hi. Tom. Now the ladies present would include the lovely Jessica Alsman. I uh, love. Alts? Did I get there? Alsman, sorry. Alsman, yeah. Sorry. Um, there's Christy Lee right over Hi. there. Okay, I got to get it together over here. Um, I'll say. Uh, I uh, wanted to uh, remind. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, here it is. I just found it. I just found it. Here it is. Uh, we have a special contest going on. We're calling it our Big Sweetie Contest, even if your dog is a little doggy. This is, uh, we, we asked you to send us pictures of your dogs. And even if you didn't get, a, get us a picture of the doggies, uh, uh, you can still vote. You go to bobandtom.com slash contest. What do you win? Oh, you win a great prize. A year's supply of premium Nutra Chomps, the best rawhide alternative chews for dogs. Hmm. So have happy dogs and healthy mm -hmm. dogs with uh, with delicious Nutra Chomps. And once again, you can vote uh, today. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest and vote for your favorite doggy picture. There's a lot of them to choose from. I'm going to vote for the most rabid looking. That's my vote. There are some up there. <laughs> There's some cute. Yeah, uh, Jessica, you compiled these, didn't you? Had to sift I had through to look all through of them. all those photos, and some of, people are very funny. Uh, I think they're a lot of dumps. A lot of dumps. Oh no, we we uh, deleted. I said it before. I'll say it again. Those. A good dog owner looks at their puppies' dumps. You can learn a lot from a dog. <laughs> we don't need to see photographs mm. of them, though. Thank you. In it's very process. looks all right. Smells all right. Tastes all right. There Good thing go. I didn't step in it. That's right. <laughs> ah, the classics. Yes. But they're all adorable. We're bringing them back today. Zen. <laughs> That's should. kind of a Zen thing. Yeah, you uh -huh. Look at your droppings to uh, move forward. No. You look at your own? Do I? Yeah. I'll give it an eyeball oh. every now and then. What? what not every, not every time. You don't look every time? What about you? No. You have to look. Huh? Could we move you on? just turn around and flush and go. <laughs> I only look at it after I've eaten street chalk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. After you eat sidewalk chalk, it gives this rainbow effect. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. That's my dog, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how people can do it so fast. <laughs> I know. It's just fast. Fi fiber, my friend. It's fast. Fiber. Could we move on? No, we I have, still, uh, I have We, we okay. have uh, uh, things to get you to here. You want to talk about this? The, uh, well, of course, if you... <laughs> I'll tell you something. Maybe little. you're eating too much cheese. What was that story you had about the well, cheese? Well, I was going to say, this will bind you up if hmm. you have a problem. Costco selling a whopping 72 pound... <laughs> Didn't we decide we weren't going to use the phrase whopping since it was Italian cheese? <sighs> Or at least put the H back in it. A <laughs> whopping. Whopping. Do, you know what? That doesn't help. Costco <laughs> selling a large 72-pound uh, wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. It'll cost people, you $900. Uh, when they go to Costco. You got to go online. You're not helping. <laughs> the hefty block produced by the store's Kirkland Signature brand is aged for 24 months and is imported from Italy. That's mm -hmm. Italy. 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 By Italians. 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 Okay. Hello, you. Bob and Tom Show. Hey, fellas. Hi, oh, Floyd. Floyd. Have a Georgia Italy program. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Floyd. Good. Oh, that's too bad what cheese will do to you, binding you up your dough. Yeah. Oh, really? Sure, yeah. And Tom, if you chase it with your sidewalk chalk there some days, boy, <laughs> I feel like I'm dilated to four. If I've been <laughs> <on the> road, <laughs> you know. yeah. I heard Christy talking about it. a cheese wheel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can't have as many cheese wheels as I <laughs> oh. used to regularly on the cat of my cholesterol yeah. being what it is. But sure. Today, I kindly wrote a song that explains how I feel about it. I, oh. 
tamed up with my good friend <laughs> Dennis that works at Fred County here at Mr. Fuel. And oh. Since Pat Godwood's gone today, I thought I might step up and pitch in. <laughs> okay. Right. This is dedicated to the cheese wheels. Okay. <laughs> Left a good club on my filly. <laughs> Cooking fine pans every night and day. <laughs> Haven't ever lost one sliver of heaping. <laughs> Worried about the spray string in the can. <laughs> She's will to keep on the churning. <laughs> Prove alone to keep on the curling. Curling. But we're trolling. 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 <laughs> trolling for Velveeta. <laughs> if it comes down to Velveeta. <laughs> Bet you're going to find some people who list <laughs> all the different ways they like Velveeta. <laughs> it's my second favorite, not counting cheese whiz. <laughs> cheese whiz, I keep on the churning. <laughs> Rove alone, I keep on the curtain. <laughs> and we're trolling, <laughs> trolling, <laughs> trolling for Velveeta. Oh. <laughs> and we're trolling, <laughs> trolling. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Nice. Floyd featuring Dennis. Wonderful. I'd have to do another verse, but I believe Dennis has about three or four backed up here to counter. <laughs> okay. Now. I'm going to get your scratch off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good night. Uh, Bye, see you, Floyd. Floyd. Very good. Oh, Velveeta. <clears throat> wow. Um, now, I bet Velveeta. you can get a lot of Velveeta at Costco. I bet. A whole brick. Yeah, giant cinder block. Did you buy that uh, that thing last week? Uh, the kid, uh, he's like four years old, loves Costco. Oh, he had his birthday party. Had his there. birthday party there. Yeah. That's cute. I can see because when you're you're a kid and you walk in there and they've got everything. Yeah, yeah. Like it, uh, and lots of it. And I guess Costco they closed down part of their uh, uh, of the cafeteria area and they opened it up for this. Let me see if I. Oh, Costco's got a big that. Yeah, here it is. At Costco is a big deal. Yeah, four year old boy. In California, had a mm -hmm. Costco themed party, um, at, and because he's obsessed with Costco, that's really. And they uh, had special membership cards for all his little friends that came to visit. Him. That's sweet, isn't that nice? Yeah, and then they brought out a gigantic Kirkland pinata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just yeah, beat it. You know, it's say what you want, but they make a heck of a birthday cake too. Uh, okay, oh, oh and God. pies. Yes, oh. yeah, they're great. Oh. Okay, well, now um, let's move on here, Christy. What else you, you don't got? Don't you have to buy thirty cakes though, or something? No, you just buy one. <laughs> What's wrong? It's just with quite that? large. <laughs> It's a big cake. Okay, um, A Colorado mountain lion was released back into the wild recently after spending several months recovering at a rehabilitation center. Uh, cocaine? No. Oh. A family in Wallensburg, Colorado, was feeding it bratwurst. Oh, <laughs> wow. Colorado Parks and Wildlife officials wrote on their Twitter that the feline had been rescued from the family's residence in November as a three-month-old kitten after it had fallen ill because of the meaty snack. Really? Yeah, residents claim they found the mountain lion in a snowbank. They may have. Why? What's the big deal there? I saw this. They thought, I think uh, they found him after a plow went by or something. And, huh. Yeah. But, I mean, can you imagine if it grew, when it grows up? Yeah. You know, you've got a mountain lion. As Living a in your house, yeah. You, I don't know if you can. Is there a litter box big enough for that? <laughs> oh, I, if they you, they could one bite to the neck and kill you. Sure, uh, sure. And that's what they go for. They go for the neck there. The, yeah, that'd be right. You know, Yikes. You know, they got them back in the wild. Wow. What? You, you can't feed a cat bratwurst, Why not? obviously. Why not? Oh, did you ever read the story about the, they fed it to a cheetah and it got the runs? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Boy, that's... I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're, you know what? No, hang on a second. Josh sold the hell out of that for you, and just, I mean, if there were a contest for for uh, words being almost a joke uh, without without actually uh, being a joke, wow. that would win. See, because cheetahs are fast, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's sure. really just. Uh, is there such a thing as a factual pun? That's, that's what it was. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell! Fascinating. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> you're really no, you don't want to the study. You, you don't want to have a little <laughs> kitty that turns into a mountain lion. No, you no, don't. that's what happens though. But he loves me. Look at him. How he loves me. <laughs> I wonder what it couldn't digest though with the bratwurst. A lot animals have some trouble with pork sometimes. Oh, I see. Don't mm -hmm. uh, don't cheetahs and lions and tire they purr just like regular? Cats. Oh yeah, yeah sure. little kitties. Mm -hmm. oh, I'd love oh, to hear nice. a mountain lion purr. Oh. Behind a cage. 
briefly. <laughs> they all do that thing too, where they push on you. They kind of with both paws. Oh, making, you don't want a lion doing that. You're just <laughs> <laughs> making bread, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Breaking your ribs. Yeah, they're needing you for dinner yeah. later. Soften them up. Crack, crack, crack. Yeah. My lung collapse. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.